hey, I wanted to combine this into sort of both uh, uh, an object lesson, but also the prompt uh, for next week. So the, the object lesson is writing in character. Um, and uh, we're going to turn to the exemplar of that, uh, the great Randy Newman. Um, you know, he's got a, a, a deep catalog of songs um, where he speaks in the voice of a character, Texas girl at the funeral of her father. Um, Louisiana, 1922, which is written in the voice of sort of a, a poor black New, New Orleanian, which he's only one of those things, a New Orleanian. Um, what else, you know? Uh, um, well, rednecks. Uh, um, last night I saw Les the Maddox on the TV with some smart ass New York Jew. And the Jew laughed at Lester Maddox, and the audience laughed at Lester Maddox too. Now he may be a fool, but he's our fool. If they think they're better than him, they're wrong. So I went to the park and I took some paper along, and that's where I made this song. <laughs> That's clearly not Randy Newman speaking. And, f I mean, for that matter, short people got no reason. Short people got no reason. Short people got no reason to live. Do we honestly think that Randy Newman dislikes short people? Um, or even that that is him, uh, holding forth uh, in this tirade against short people. I have a memory of him being interviewed and he said something uh, which I want to hopefully do justice to in my memory, but I feel like this is the central mechanism of how character songwriting works laid bare. The interviewer had the presence of mind as I remember it you know, not to ask the obvious question, these people are not you, but a, a, a subtler question. Uh, the interviewer said, I mean, obviously you are not the alcoholics and misogynists and racists and reprobates that populate your songs, but I am interested to know if you feel that their characters are some, some part of your own identity. And... Randy Newman reared back and gave this answer, which, ah, which is, no, no, by no means are these people some element of my character. It's just that when you encounter these characters, you're going to have a reaction. And you're going to ask yourself, what you think of these people. Now, if you happened to ask yourself what you think I think of these people, and you answered that with a fairly well-educated guess, you would now know more about me than if I told you something about myself. <sighs> He's right. There is a bizarre triangulation, if you can do it right, when speaking in a voice that is not yours can tell a truer story about you than you can tell about yourself. So, that's the object lesson, and uh, I think we all know where this week's prompt is headed, which is simply this. Um, I want us all to write a song in voice of a character, someone who is not ourselves. And um, enjoy, as you do it, that curious sensation you will have of being the audience yourself. You will be the first audience for this, uh, this person, this character. 
And, uh, you know, don't think too hard about it. Don't try to necessarily come to some conclusion about what you think about them. Just enjoy being curious about who they are. Um, and again, what this lays bare is that there's kind of two ways in. One is to think of a character and let that character speak. But another way is to just let, uh, let some words fall out at random and ask yourself who exactly would be saying that? Why would they say that? It's the, it's the Paul McCartney thing from way back. Um, either one. Either one. Happy hunting. Uh, I'll see you in the salt mines.